Hello everyone and welcome to the subdivision surface tutorial for Blender. This is a very very useful tool in Blender specifically for modeling. If you go ahead and right click an object, any active object, and you go to the modifiers tab and you choose a modifier out of this group, one of them being subdivision surface, what this modifier does is it subdivides your mesh to give you a higher poly mesh. So you can see here the individual polygons are multiplying every time I press this button. You can go as high as you want. We wouldn't recommend going too high because that can be very, very taxing on your computer, but it is very, very helpful. And what's great about this is not only can you choose how much you want to subdivide it in the viewport, but you can also separate the viewport subdivision and the render subdivisions. So if I were to set this up to be high, I could do that and then make the viewport as low as possible. But when you render it, I'm going to go ahead and hit F12 to render you'll notice it has been subdivided in the render, but in the viewport is still at zero subdivision. So it's a very, very handy tool to save on performance while you're working, but allow you to get a high quality render regardless. Now, there's a few shortcuts involved with subdivision surface, and that is, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this modifier here. It's a very simple shortcut and very, very useful is if you just hit control and then any number on the number row, it will actually subdivide that object that number of times. So if I did control one, that is one subdivision. So I'm gonna go ahead and X that out. And then I'm gonna do control two. And notice that this time it comes with two subdivisions. Now the number corresponds only to the viewport subdivisions. The render subdivisions are always by default two. So you're gonna to wanna to set that uh, manually. Now by default, it's set to Catmull Clark subdivision, which means it smooths out the shape. But you can also use simple, which means if we just go into wireframe mode here, it actually subdivides it without distorting the mesh whatsoever. So if that's what you want instead, you can use this option instead of Catmull Clark. But Catmull Clark is default and very useful. But yeah, that's how you use the subdivision surface modifier. 